Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how to remove reverb within Audacity. So once you have your audio recording done, you'll have to double click on it, go to Effect and Filter Curve EQ. So this is a built-in equalizer within Audacity. And Audacity doesn't have a effect dedicated to removing reverb, but there's a way we can play around with the filter curve EQ right here to at least somewhat diminish the reverb that is prevalent within the recording. So the idea is that most of the reverb is coming from the lower end frequencies because these frequencies, they bounce, they go further and so they bounce off the walls more compared to the high end frequencies. And if we reduce the lower end, uh, we will lose some of the warmth within the recording, but will also uh, significantly reduce the reverb. And also at the very high end, you may as well want to reduce it as well, because the reverb, the super high end, uh, is very noticeable, it's quite harsh. And these frequencies are usually not as necessary as the frequencies in the middle. So we're gonna both reduce the lower end and the higher end, and then we're gonna be left out with the middle frequencies. And this should significantly reduce the reverb within the recording. So what you wanna do is first of all, click at the round 150 Hertz, and then at the very end of the frequency graphic, And you want to cut out the slower and these lower end frequencies. You can go even higher than that. The, the higher you will go, the more of the lower end you'll cut out. So it will remove more of the reverb, but also you will um, lose the warmth. So don't go too high. And then with the higher end, I would click at somewhere around 10,000 Hertz. And then I would drastically remove it because if even if you remove all of it, it would still sound quite, quite good and it would diminish uh, reverb significantly. So now click apply. And this is after the effect was applied. Try to reduce the reverb within Audacity. And now this is before. Let's try to reduce the reverb within Audacity. All right. Let's try to reduce the reverb within Audacity. So this is not ideal method because you're losing some of the frequencies that you may want to have within your audio recording, but if there's lots of reverb, then this could be a solution to diminish it significantly.